Good morning, uh, Jairam here from Almas. Uh, welcome to Almas Market Morning. Uh, yesterday, both India and US announced uh, higher than expected uh, input inflation, which uh, keeps the asset markets primed for uh, tightening monetary policies, particularly in the US. India is only pushing the can down the road as uh, record PPI inflation will eventually reflect in retail prices. Besides uh, the positive base effects waning in the coming uh, months. Thus, uh, uh, there is an emerging uh, sense that the central bank is falling behind the curve, which is another factor that keeps uh, rupee on the ropes. As we have been saying, rupee has been on a slow depreciation path and has broken successive resistance levels with ease. We do have a massive resistance at uh, 7630, which I expect to hold uh, with uh, help from central bank who would be looking to contain imported inflation. Market is likely to move in a narrow range between 7585 and 7610 as we await a Fed decision. On the dollar index, uh, the greenback has ga gained back all of its earlier losses yesterday on uncertainty about how Omicron evolves, higher PPI inflation, and a report from International Energy Agency that uh, Omicron variant of the coronavirus will, uh, coronavirus will dent uh, global demand. While both Euro and GBP continue to struggle to sustain recovery from their multi-month lows, <clears throat> expectations from policy meetings in both countries leave uh, very little room for bullishness. ECB remains the most dovish of the central banks, while Bank of England continues to spew uncertainty in the face of mixed data and COVID situation. These uncertainties are helping uh, USD to maintain its firmness uh, despite its extremely overbought uh, condition. Meanwhile, Chinese data has seen a big miss on both industrial production and retail sales, further confirming the slowing economy. But Yuan continues to beat market view of currency weakness and trades firmly around 6.37. Just to highlight uh, how varied the economies have been and how divergent the uh, response of policymakers is, we have Chile central bank raising policy rate by 1.25% yesterday to 4% to rein in record inflation and consumer spending boom. This is their highest rate since 2014. On the other hand, we have Turkish central bank on an unprecedented easing path, even as inflation booms high, and they are expected to further ease by 1% when they meet uh, uh, today. Meanwhile, Turkish lira trades at a record low of 14.35, a fall of nearly 50% this year. A correction Turkey Central Bank meets uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks, JK. So, USD continued to hold uh, strong ahead of FMC meeting outcome today evening. Uh, markets would be watching for uh, speed of tapering and whether dots indicating uh, earlier rates move. Uh, this is the meeting where they will release dot plot as well. Uh, there is a risk of kind of uh, sentiment across the market, equity lower, gold lower, cryptos lower, and even bond yields are lower. 10-year uh, USD is trading at 1.44 and 2-year USD is trading at 0.65%. Uh, continued 3-4 days uh, dealing below 1.50. Uh, oil prices moved lower on expectation of supply growth will outpace demand growth next year. Uh, Indian 10-year bond yield closed at 635. Uh, unchanged from uh, previous close. Uh, FMC meeting outcome will guide the further move in bond deals in India. Uh, India reported WPI inflation at 14.2% for the month of November, uh, which is much higher than the street expectations of 12%. Thank you. Have a nice day.